How many lame jokes about carbs can you make in less than a minute? What do you call 52 slices of bread, a deck of carbs? I treat every day like I'm running a marathon tomorrow. I rest up, I load up with carbs, and I don't run. Why was the dietitian kicked out of the casino? He was caught counting carbs. What's the difference between a potato and your mum? One is fat, lumpy, and full of carbs. The other is a potato. Carbs are my starch enemy. What social construct has the most carbs? Gender roles. My doctor told me I needed to try a low carb diet. I guess you could say he put me on six weeks of bread rest. You know, experts say that it's healthy to cut carbs. They're probably right. I guess I just don't know whether I should cut them with a knife or a fork. How much bread can you eat on a low carb diet in India? None. Customer says to the waiter, I'm vegetarian, I'm allergic to gluten, I don't eat carbs, I'm lactose intolerant, and I'm allergic to nuts. What can I get? And the waiter says, the front door, see you later. Jokes aside, carbs can uh, are often misunderstood, demonised, um, but form uh, an essential part of our diet. They're not necessarily an essential macronutrient. We can survive without them. And a lot of us um, eat the wrong type of carbs congruent with our goals. So I have done a short blog um, telling us um, against the grain as to why carbs can form an important part of your diet and which ones to use. Uh, check out my latest blog post on the website, link in the comments.